And welcome back to the Jason Show Home Edition. Oh, I'm excited. Well, I'm always excited. Usually I get to hug her, but you know, hello, the COVID. I can't hug her now. Um, joining us live from her kitchen, it's the cooking mom. Hey, Amy. Virtual hug, Jason. Virtual hug. I know. I've been doing that. It's like the virtual COVID hug. How you? Oh, oh, look at the pooch. We've never oh, seen yeah. your dog. This is Arlo. He is a seven year old black lab. And, uh, I've been cooking uh, live daily uh, on Facebook. So we're, whenever I'm in the kitchen, he makes his way, like he totally makes his way in, hoping that I will drop something. So he's got the drill down. And then he kind of, when he realizes, well, she's not cooking right this second, he scoots off. But I'm sure he'll make an appearance uh, in the next, you know, five to 10 minutes. But uh, you is, know, what, would we, what would we do without our pets during this Seriously. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing three things today. The first thing in this first segment, then we'll take a break and come back and do the other two. What are we making today? So I'm super excited about um, some summer dessert recipes. I'm going to show you how to roast strawberries. Yes, I said roast strawberries and turn them into this amazing dessert that will make you look like a total and complete rock star. Uh, it's perfect for, you know, kind of a special dessert, um, but it's super easy breezy because that's the way I roll. So First, Jace, I'm going to talk about uh, roasting strawberries. Why would you do it, and you know um, how easy it is to do? So I've never, Amy, in all in the hundreds of cooking segments, well, probably now thousands over 23 years, and hundreds with you, I have never in my life heard of roasting strawberries. I am very excited to see this. And, and you're not alone. Um, you know, I think a lot of people have heard of roasting vegetables. I love like turning the oven on a really high heat and roasting asparagus or zucchini or peppers and onions. And what it does is it, it you know, blasts them with flavor rather than boiling them. And it kind of uh, brings out, uh, it brings out the flavor, it caramelizes them. Well, same deal for strawberries. And it's really on trend right now to roast or grill fruit. And I'll show you why. So. Um, the, the, it's strawberry season, so if you pick up some beautiful strawberries at the farmer's market or at a, uh, you know, a roadside stand, or maybe you're picking your own, those are so wonderful. They're probably really nice and sweet, and, and those are better just eaten out of hand or in a strawberry shortcake. Uh, you mainly want to roast the strawberries that you might get at the grocery store that aren't like, you know, as wonderful as they could be. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, totally. These are, are, are from the grocery store, um, and they're a little bit white. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They're pretty, but they're not going to be like the ones you get, you know, this time of year uh, at the farmer's market. So if you really want to uh, make them extra flavorful, here's what you do. So you clean them and just slice them up. And I love this recipe because, you know, I am cooking for a smaller group of people. We've just got two in our house right now. Um, so you can easily cut this recipe and a lot of my recipes in half. So you don't need to do a big batch, but you certainly can, and you can get it done ahead of time. So in a little casserole dish, you're going to take some sliced strawberries, just like this, and you're going to toss them with a little bit of sugar. Now, the oven needs to be preheated to about 400 degrees. Oh, look, Arlo's back. Hey, buddy, I have not dropped anything yet, so, <laughs> but, but just wait, I might. So anyway, you toss those berries with some sugar, and then you get them into a preheated, make sure your oven is preheated to 400, 425, maybe even 450. Really got to shop these berries for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can also do them in a foil pan on your grill. So what that's going to do, it's really going to concentrate the flavor and cook these strawberry down, and you're going to almost be left with a strawberry syrup. So here's what they look like when they come out of the oven. I don't know if you can see that. It's really kind of a thick, yeah. syrupy sauce, and it is killer. A little note, if you have extra, blend them up and make frosé with them. Put them with some um, rosé wine and maybe a little uh, extra, you know, uh, splash of alcohol, like rum or vodka, and freeze that. Now you're talking, Amy. Wow. Now you're talking. You yeah, know, I also so thought, too, that could be really good over, like, some fresh ice cream, just totally, as, like, a strawberry totally. syrup. Absolutely, and you definitely want to refrigerate these. So after you, you know, pull them out of the oven, let them cool a little bit, and let them refrigerate. So now I'm gonna uh, get to work on this trifle, uh, and and they're just even great, just straight up uh, with a spoon. It just concentrates the flavor. And if you like strawberries, it just takes it all up a notch. All right, so for the trifle, a trifle is a layered dessert, right, with cake and pudding and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of a fancy English dessert, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but they look so cool. So I've got some pound cake here. You could also use angel food. You can make your own. 
come on, it's summer. Sometimes you just don't even want to turn the oven on if it's warm. So this is just uh, my, my good friend, Sarah Lee. And I just, uh, you know, diced it up into little pieces because you need it to fit in a vessel. And my vessel of choice is like, uh, you know, this is like a pretty parfait glass. Uh, you could do it in like a, a, a wine glass would be kind of fancy. Um, you could do it in a, just even a, a clear juice glass. This happens to be like if you want to do little mini desserts, which are really on trend, a little cordial glass. But if you really want to keep it simple, clear plastic cups work too. So we're going to start layering these guys. So basically, you're going to take some of the cubes of the cake, and then you're going to take some of the, this yummy, these roasted, cooled strawberries, and that syrup. It's all about that syrup. And these really concentrate in flavor, so you don't need a ton of them. And these you can have all done ahead and parked in your refrigerator. And then the, the, um, the, what makes this incredibly delicious besides roasted strawberries is I'm going to make a quick, easy mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone is what uh, commonly is the, the cream filling in tiramisu. It's like an Italian cream cheese. I'm going to add to that some powdered sugar. I don't want it too sweet. I don't like signally sweet desserts. A little bit of vanilla and heavy cream. And also, this can be done ahead of time. So I'm just going to use a mixer quick and beat this together, and this is going to be my filling. So you can have the strawberries roasted. You can have this cream mixture all beaten together in a container in your fridge, and then quickly layer these up. Go. I'm just waiting for the dog to make an appearance while you're mixing. Oh, you know what? You never know when Mr. Arlo is going to show up. It's always, it's always a surprise. All right, so now we're going to start layering. So we've got our cake and our strawberry, uh, roasted strawberries. Now we're going to do a nice dollop of this um, cream mixture. We can do some more cake. These are really rich, so you don't need to make like ginormous ones. And then you can park them into the refrigerator until you're ready to serve, maybe cover them with a little bit of plastic wrap. And then before serving, I think it's always fun to dress them up a little bit and look a little fancy. Not that that wouldn't be just beautiful as is, but um, I've got some extra fresh berries so we could, you know, kind of take a little berry uh, for uh, if you wanted to do, be a little patriotic and do some red, white, and blue. We can add um, some blackberries uh, or blueberries. And then I have some growing herbs, Jason. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not a gardener at all, but- Look at you, yeah. Martha Stewart. I, I, not even close, but mint is really easy to grow, but I've got on my outdoor space all sorts of herbs. So I just went, this is mojito mint. So it's double duty. Uh, so grow some mint and you can do it mojitos or just garnish this dessert, but like total rock star, right? I mean- Look at that. I, I know. Look it's at like that. Pay 15 bucks for you know a dessert like this at a restaurant. Not that I don't like to support our local restaurants. We need to do that. But, but still. It's, yeah, it's fun to do something fancy at home. And isn't it pretty? And you have them all lined up. You it know, is. And yeah. It's gorgeous. Well, Amy's not done too. yet. As I said, the Cooking Mom has two more recipes. You stay there on the other side of the break. You'll see those back in a moment. And welcome back, everyone. More with the Cooking Mom, who, by the way, follow the Cooking Mom on Instagram. What's your what's your what's your address? Search the Cooking Mom, uh, and um, I'm posting stuff, new recipes and ideas all the time, Jason. I'm also cooking live uh, daily on Facebook, and I know a lot of people from the Twin Cities are watching. So I'm just trying to give people some, you know, easy, breezy recipes for summer. I know we're, we're cooking now more than we ever have before, so I'm just trying to really cook on a budget, from my pantry, from my fridge, just keeping it real. Well, and we have two more desserts. What do we have now? So I'm going to show you two super easy desserts that you can actually grill. When I grill, and I'm going to, you know, try and grill a bunch this summer, um, I like to keep it all outside, including the mess, because I mentioned that we're all cooking now more than ever. We're also living in our homes now more than ever, and that means it can get messy. So if I can keep it all outside, yes. So um, these are really fun, easy desserts that if you're grilling a steak or chicken or whatever, uh, you know, Push it over at the end and, and grill dessert too, and they will be a hit, hit, and they are super crazy easy. The first one is a um, peach, coconut peach dump cake, and it's kind of like an app or a crisp or a cobbler, and you just dump it all together, which is my kind of recipe. Uh, you can do it in a foil pan on the grill, or really on trend are these cast iron skillets that are on sale. I picked this up uh, like for 15 bucks, and you're gonna use it over and over and over again. Uh, if you're using a cast iron skillet, butter or oil it. If you're using a foil pan, just spray it really well with cooking spray. 
So the, uh, you can also cut a lot of my recipes in half. Don't be afraid of doing that. We're cooking for smaller numbers of people. So I cut this recipe in half. Normally, if I'm making a big batch, use two of the big cans of sliced or ha peach halves uh, or four of the little guys. So I'm gonna dump in my peaches with the juice and heavy syrup. Make sure you keep the juice, you really need it. Then we're gonna add um, some yellow cake mix. So if you're doing the full recipe, a full box. If you're doing half the recipe, a half box. So just dump that right on top. Don't follow the directions in the back. You want this to be kind of the, 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 the topping um, for this peach dump cake. Then we're gonna add uh, melted butter over the top. And again, you can get the full recipe on my website, thecookingmom.com. Brown sugar over the top. Then I've got, it's a coconut peach dump cake and the coconut really takes this over the top. This is just some uh, flaked coconut. And then I'm gonna throw some pecans on the top too. And this goes on your grill for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's bubbly or in your oven for about a half hour. You wanna serve this warm with like vanilla ice cream and it is out of this world. I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. One more really fun dessert recipe. If you like s'mores, this is a twist to the classic s'mores. And again, I'm gonna do it in a skillet. Um, I've got basically a skillet that I've heated up on the grill or in the oven. And okay. now to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. So this is a skillet s'mores dip. And who doesn't love s'mores in the, in the summer? But it's just another fun way to serve it. Then I've got some um, semi-sweet, or if you're a milk chocolate person, chocolate chips, or you can even take some Hershey's bars and just break them up and use those. So, you know, oh, nice. as the chocolate goes, yeah, use whatever you have. and. Um, you know, make it yours. You can even add butterscotch chips. Look at Arlo showed up. Arlo, no chocolate for you. No chocolate for dogs. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to take some marshmallows and, and stick them on the top. So this is one of those things that it's like movie night and you need a dessert. You need to pull dessert out of the hat. And that's been happening a lot. You know, keep some graham crackers, chocolate chips, and marshmallows around and, and uh, you, you will completely and totally look like a a rock star hero if you make this. So then this goes on your grill or in your oven. I'm gonna show you how cool it looks when it comes out. So the marshmallows get all puffy and toasted. Look at that, I, I love, love I that. I know, they're super fun. It, and you know, something again, you might get at a restaurant and these mini skillets are super on trend. They're like six bucks. Uh, and then, you know, the graham crackers for dipping, maybe some extra chocolate. Then I wanted to show you the coconut peach dump cake. I mean, this is like crazy over the top yummy and so easy and you just scoop it into bowls with like vanilla ice cream and oh yeah um it is like um people can't believe how easy this is so yeah lots of really easy desserts for summer potato salads pasta salads um you know lots of recipes for the grill and a ton of easy dessert recipes on my website thecookingmom.com and also on instagram search for the cooking mom on instagram on Facebook, and don't forget, it's right behind her. Get her book, The Cooking Mom, right there. My mom has it, I always say it, on Amazon. Amy, thank you. Thank you, as always, so much. I'm sending you hugs and loves, and please take care and be safe, everybody. The Cooking Mom. We're gonna take a break, everyone. We'll be back right after this.